Hello people and welcome to this new class in where we are going to talk about the labels. The labels are very similar to the dimensions in terms of how they work. We can find the tool here in the upper bar. Let's hit it. And then first thing is to check how is the default style for these labels. So one click, another click, third click. And let's scroll in. Let's type for example Barcelona Pavilion pavilion scape. In my opinion, this default style is not very nice. I don't like it too much. So as it happened with the dimensions, we should arrange the settings of the label style in the first place before we start working. So once the tool is selected, we go over the shape style tray. Let's change this start arrow. I will select this one with the circle in black and end arrow the first one is just a straight line, so it's okay for me. Now let's go over the text style. The family font is completely up to you. I will stick with the Calibri Light, regular, 10 points. Now we are ready. Let's label the swimming pool. One click on the swimming pool and then look because the second click could be a straight line or an inclined line. In case that I do an inclined line, then I have another third click with this straight line. And finally, time for the text. Look that the tool is measuring the area of the swimming pool automatically. This could be useful in case that you want it. Anyways, I will use the caps lock in order to type in the text swimming pool, one click outside and here we are. The other possibility to use this tool is one click and then if I want a straight line, not an inclined line, this second click can be a double click, click, click and we save time. Again, swimming pool, one click outside. I prefer to use for this Barcelona Pavilion architecture straight lines. I think that they switch much more better with this minimalism architecture. So in case that I want to erase anything in my paper document, I can use the eraser as it happened in a SketchUp. Shortcut letter E, one click and it is done. Again, label tool, one click on the toilets, double click, toy, Let's. And now we are going to use a useful tool in order to support ourselves when we are using the label tool. We'll find it on here, arrange, but first we should select our labels, then arrange, align, and look here we find different alignments to the left, to the right, top, and bottom. We can even align the axis of those labels. Let's say left. And then you can check how our labels are aligned to the left. Don't confuse this tool with this another one. Now let's go over the trace. First, we should select the labels again. And here on the text style, a part of the family and so on, we can change the color of that font, of course. And we have these alignments, left, center and right. But here we are talking just about the text. The text accordingly to the leader line. Now this alignment is left and maybe right can be better. So right, one click outside and then you can check how the text is just next to the leader line, right? Let's repeat now these same actions down here. Label tool. I will label this table. One click, straight line, double click. And look because here it appears automatically the name of this group. This is because this group is named in a SketchUp. The name is Mesa Mies, which means Mies table. Anyways, we have here an arrow, we can expand it and then we can check what entity actually we want to label. That group with that name or just the face, then we can label the area or the viewport. And this viewport is talking about layout, not about our model in a SketchUp. Let's select Mesa Mias and we can type in here our own text. Double click Mias table. One click outside and we are done. Let's repeat this same process with this chair. Double click the name of this component. This time we have a component, not a group, and its name is Poltrona Barcelona. Again, we can expand this window, but actually we want 
to just change the text Mies chair this time. And finally, I will label this wall green marble wall. Look that on purpose, I didn't align these three labels. So now I will select the three of them, arrange, align, and this time bottom. It looks okay. Now I can hover over my selection. I find this icon, click and drag, and I can be more precise with the position of these elements. One click outside and we are done. Scroll out. I just have to erase this first label. So letter E and one click. Let's go now over another page. I can use this tool called Next. So now I am placed in page number two. I could have used as well the pages tray. Once here, label tool, first click, second click. And look, because here we have the possibility to change the position of our text. Maybe we don't want to type in our text at the right side. And then we have just to tap control. Actually, you have to hold down control. Then you can check how our text box is moving to the left side. Another click. And let's type in again, green marble wall. Now we will repeat the same process with this pillar. So first click, and before the second click, we hold down control and double click. Let's name this label cross pillar. Look that here in the first one, there is another perpendicular little line. I will erase it and repeat this label. Before this second click is when I have to hold down control and then double click. Green marble wall. And finally, again, hold down control, double click orange marble wall. We erase this text, one click outside, time to arrange these labels, select tool, selection box, arrange, align, let's say top, it looks okay, but the distance with the leader line, in my opinion, is too much. So let's select them, text style, align, right. I think here is much more nicer. As you can see, this tool is not difficult at all. It just needs some practice. So time to say goodbye. And in the next class, we will see how to add line weight to objects.